Ear Ear is the sound receiving sense organ. Important parts of the ear are enclosed in the cranium. Ear has three important parts outer ear, middle ear, and channel ear. External ear includes pinna, ear canal, and ear drum. The basic function of the outer ear or pinna is to protect the ear drum. The outer ear also functions to collect sound waves to the ear drum through the ear canal. Its shape will be different in different animals. The ear canal is a passage comprises of bone and skin leading to the ear drum. The ear canal is lined with hair follicles and glands that produce a waxy oil called cerumen. These small hairs and the ear wax seen in this area protects the inner ear from dust, bacteria and foreign particles. It also regulates the moisture and temperature in the ear canal. The ear drum is a thin piece of skin that is positioned between the ear canal and middle ear. It vibrates in response to sound waves which are then transmitted to the ossicle of the middle ear. The middle ear begins with the ear drum at the end of the ear canal. The middle ear contains three tiny bones called the ossicles. The malleus is the small hammer-shaped bone in the middle ear. The sound from malleus is transferred to the incus. The incus is shaped like an anvil. Strapis is the smallest bone in the human body. This bone is shaped like a stirrup. The eustachian tube is a small canal that connects the middle ear to the back of the nose and upper throat. Its purpose is to equalize the air pressure in the middle ear with the pressure outside it. In between middle and internal ear, there are two openings called oval window and round window. A round window is closed off from the middle ear by the round window membrane. The vestibule is like a chamber that lies in between the cochlea and the semicircular canals. It has structures called the utricle and the saccule that contain sensory cells for linear acceleration. There are three semicircular canals within each ear, the lateral, superior and posterior semicircular canals. They are responsible for balance and equilibrium of the body. One end of each canal is slightly dilated to form a round-like structure called ampulla. The part of the inner ear appears like the shell of a snail is cochlea. It has three internal chambers. The middle chamber is filled with a fluid called entolymph and the other two chambers with the fluid perilymph. Auditory receptors are seen in the organ of Corti, located in the middle chamber. Let us find out how do we hear sound. The sound waves travel through the ear canal and strike the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates from the incoming sound waves and sends these vibrations to three tiny bones in your middle ear. The bones in your middle ear amplify the sound vibrations and send them to the cochlea. Inside the cochlea, there are thousands of tiny hair cells in the organ of Corti. Hair cells change the vibrations into impulses that are sent to the brain through the auditory nerve. The brain tells you that you are hearing a sound and what that sound is.